Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, I wanted to try a new foundation to me that I picked up from Ulta, new foundation and powder. So that's the look I have going on right here. If you want to see what I use, what I think about these products, if they work for me and my oily skin, then make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Okay guys, let's jump right into the primer. I'm gonna use my Elf Cookies and Dream today to prime. It's a dent in it. <laughs> I should be happy. I'm actually using some product up. Every time I go to Walmart, I forget to look to see if they still sell this. I'm going to be mad if they don't. I love the way it performs, but I love the smell even more. Y'all know I always use two primers, so today I'm going to use my Cover F FX Gripping Primer. Only because this grips like no other. I think it's stronger than the Elf uh, Mint Primer and the, Met, the Elf Power Grip. Like this stuff right here, it grips. So whatever you put on top of it, it's going to stay. And I just focus this on my T-zone area. Mainly. And then I'll take, of course, my MAC Paint Pot and lay in low. This is something that really should be gone. But as you can see, I still got a decent amount left. Like, I don't think I ever, I'm ever going to finish this. Okay, so I recently purchased some stuff from Ulta, and one of the things was this Chanel Ultra Le Tint Foundation. Ultra Wear All Day Flawless Finish Foundation in BD121. I know this is old, but I wanted to give it a try. I was in an Ulta, and I swatched the sample, perfect shade and everything, but they didn't have it inside the store, so I had to order it online, and I wanted to give it a try. This was $60, kind of like on the pricey side, but not too bad, but bad enough. <laughs> Enriched with Luminous Perfection Soft Focus Powder. So, of course, the packaging looks sleek and nice and pretty, which we expect from a brand like this. It's a glass bottle. It comes in one fluid ounce, the standard amount size. Hopefully, you know, I'm hoping the shade is as I swatched it, you know, because the lights in the stores can be different. It comes with a pump. Let's pump it out. I got some stuff in the back of my hand, but. So let's see. Yeah, this might work. So that's three pumps. I'm going to use a BH Cosmetic Flat Top Brush. It came from out of set, some set I had. So let's get to get. I'm so excited. So this actually comes in 35 shades. It's, full it's a full coverage foundation that provides up to 24 hour wear with a soft matte finish. When I swatched it and I saw that it was matte, that I fell in love with that to begin with. The shade was perfect. And I was like, okay, well, let me give it a try. The lightweight texture glides seamlessly onto the skin for all day comfort. The liquid formula provides buildable coverage that lasts in even environmental strenuous conditions. It has a kind of perfume smell, but not like overwhelming it smells light like almost like baby baby powder to me so this is how i'm looking Soft matte, it's soft matte. 
it's soft matte and it's comfortable and this color is spot on i'm so happy i'm learning covers colors i'm gonna try to put a little bit on this pretend birthmark i got right here but i don't expect it to like cover this because it's so deep you know what i mean I'm going to just have to keep putting my cocoa butter on it. Yeah, this color is perfect. I'm going to take my Dior uh, 4W to highlight with today. Mm. I had something on that, on that sponge. Oh, man. And it wiped off. I'm not going to contour today. I'm definitely going to switch sponges. Just wish maybe I can. Let's get the blender. And I'm just blending around the edges of this concealer. Another thing I picked up. Now, I've been wanting this for a while. This has been in my Ulta cart probably for the last three or four months. It's the Chanel Natural Loose, Natural Finish Loose Powder in 121. I didn't even realize that was a number. Yeah. In 121. Looks like this. It comes in eight shades. This was $52. And I have the shade Medium Deep golden undertone which is 121 and this is an ultra soft loose powder that provides sheer coverage the formula helps to even skin tone plus sets and per perfects makeup for a natural matte finish i one of my subscribers told me about three or so months ago that this was a really really good powder so this is how it looks so it's been in my cart since then because i really was not trying to spend 52 dollars on a powder but I really wanted to give it a try. So it's fancy. It comes with the Chanel Powder Puff and all that good stuff. Now I got to open it up. I was unsure of the colors. I didn't want to get too deep and I didn't want it to be like too light. This kind of looks kind of dark to be a highlight shade for me. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all can see. Yeah, this is too deep for a highlight. Oh, man. I know it's too good to be true. We're going to still use it. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, this is too deep. This is more so like a skin. Yeah, this is skin tone shade. So, I'm going to just use it to set my face. The foundation. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's deep. Oh. <sighs> And it's too deep. Looks like it's too deep to even be my skin tone shade. Yeah, that's deep. I'm just going around the edges. Ah. Now I got to look and see what shade. Yeah, that's deep. Uh, what powder do I have? I got um this travel size Laura Mercier. And it's just the regular one, the original. I'll take that to set this concealer. Yeah, I gotta take this powder back. It's too deep to be my 
face shade and way, way too deep to be my highlight shade. Maybe I want y'all to see it. Then I have to order it again. Oh, that's too deep. The matte, it is matte. It does look filtered. It's a really pretty, pretty finish. Just not my shade. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer 550 Deep Dark to give me a slight contour. Just a slight BH Cosmetic Brush. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the completed look. I am already in love with this foundation. This foundation is matte, but it's not tight. It's the perfect shade. It's looking really good on my skin. Let me get up close to my usual. This is how my face is looking. Even with the powder, probably today or tomorrow, I'll have to take this powder back to Ulta. So drop down in the comments and let me know if you use this powder as a highlight and if you're similar to my skin tone, what shade you use. So I'll know which one to order. But I love, I'm in love already with this foundation <laughs> I am so today we are going to do a wear test you know we haven't did that in a while it's 743 so we'll wear this for some time do a little bit whatever I gotta do da, 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 and I'll come back and show you how it wears but as of right now I absolutely love it so see you guys in a couple of hours bye Okay, guys, I am back. This is how my face is looking. It is 444, so roughly a little over nine hours worth of wear. I knew I was going to love it. I knew I was going to love it. I told y'all when I applied it, I was going to love it. I'm mad it took me this long to actually purchase it. As you can see, I haven't um, blotted or anything on my face, but as you can see, it just has a natural shine to it. I look radiant, but don't look greasy or oily. I love this kind of look. This, you know, I just love it. <sighs> so let me take a sponge, and I never have a clean one. I'll take this one. And let's just blot. So this will be my first time blotting after nine hours worth of wear. And I know, and I thought about it. I didn't put on any face powder. You know, all I used was the Chanel loose powder, you know, around the perimeter of my face. And this is how I'm looking. So I'm almost, almost, almost contemplating keeping that one, even though I feel like, does it look like it match? Like, I feel like I'll be okay with that to put it around here. And then I'll just get one to highlight with. Because this powder is nice. And I went online during my lunch break to kind of see, you know, on YouTube, people who were my complexion, what they were using as a highlight. And most people were using 30, but I feel like 30 is, like, too bright for me. Y'all know I like to be bright, but not that bright. So I think I'm going to go with 40. So, yeah, I'll order that. I'm going to order 40. But, and the reason why I picked 121, because it was the only one that I saw that said golden undertone. Everything else has a neutral undertone or it says cool undertone. That was the only one I saw that said golden. And y'all know I love golden everything. So, I don't know. We'll see y'all. So, this is how my face is looking. It looked like I just put on my makeup. And this is like real talk. Like, I just put on my makeup. Like, nothing is out of place. Even my smile lines are intact. It just looks good. This foundation, I love it. Perfect shade. We'll keep it. Y'all gonna see this a lot because I know I love this. The powder, don't really know 
I think I'm going to pick up a highlight shade. Before I take it back, I'm going to pick up a highlight shade and see how the two go together to see if I'm really, really feeling it. So, yeah. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.